What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I want to do a quick video because I recently uh, had a birthday and my sister got me something that I've wanted for quite some time and um, I'm pretty stoked to try it out. It's the GoPro Media Mod for your camera. Uh, I kind of ripped it open when I saw what it was because I was anxious, but then I thought, you know what? I want to um, make a video out of it. So um, I put everything back in the box so that you can see what comes out of the box. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, so the media mod is kind of like a shell for your GoPro and it allows you to attach things like microphones and lights and other uh, accessories to your camera um, to get a better shot and uh, get better sound. The reason that I've really wanted one is because of this microphone uh, with its kind of like muffle um, cover that goes over it. Um, for me, uh, right now, the thing that I'm trying to improve a lot on in my footage is sound. I feel like I've gotten like the video quality um, to a point where I'm really comfortable with it, but sound is a huge part of video. If you have awesome footage, but the sound is crappy, it's just not as enjoyable to look at. And so on my GoPro, I've tried a bunch of things. I've bought the, the foam cover that goes around the camera. Um, I've tried sticking these dead cats to uh, on top of the microphones, but I still seem to get quite a bit of wind noise and I'm always having to kind of mess with that or sometimes it's just I can't do anything with it. So I have to cut the sound in the video and just overlay music. So this is exciting because the way it works is when you put the media mod onto your camera, there's this port that the camera plugs into and it kind of routes all of the sound through the microphone on the media mod. Um, and so I'm going to throw it on there and I'm gonna do kind of a comparison. I'm gonna try to ride the same trail, same conditions, and uh, one with the media mod on there, one without, and just see how it does. So if you're interested, stick around. All right, now let's see what's in the box. Uh, the first thing right off the bat, of course you've got warranty information and instructions. Pretty cool, they give you a, uh, a shoe for your GoPro. I think they call this like a J-mount. They give you the screw to go along with that shoe as well, so that's cool. They give you the media mod itself. I think that's all that's in this little cardboard thing. So you can see the foam uh, cover for the microphone right here, and then you can see the microphone right here um, in the upper, for me, upper right-hand corner, for you probably upper left-hand corner. Um, so let's, let's put it on. Okay, so the way you put this on, you take your GoPro, um, you open up the, the battery door and where your SD card and your battery go, and this thing actually is just kind of, you can pop it off really easy. So give it a little bit of a tug, comes right off, and you'll notice uh, down here, there's this like USB-C port, and that is what plugs into your camera. So if you, if you have your media mod, there's a similar door on this side. You open that up. So there, there's this connection right here, and as you slide your camera in, this port is going to slide uh, right into that connector. So you just kind of give it a nice little push, make sure it's in there, and then close this door, and you're good to go. Now, one thing to note is uh, that when you have this on and you don't have the door that comes with your GoPro, I don't think this is waterproof anymore. Um, you might want to double check on that, but that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, I don't really need waterproof for what I'm doing with mountain biking, um, but if you use your camera underwater, that might be something to consider. So, okay, so in the back of the, the media mod, there's these three little doors, and you'll see there's a few ports back there. And according to the instructions, you've got a micro HDMI port, a USB-C port, um, a 3.5 millimeter external mic port, and then a USB-C uh, plug as well. You've still got access to your power button on the side, and then you've got access uh, to your on off button on the top. Um, so the way you put on the mic is it kind of just slips on over the microphone or the mic cover slips on over the microphone. It's got this little 
tab, this little shoe back here. I don't know if you can see it that well, but it just helps you kind of pop it off when you want to take it off. So I'm going to put this back on. And this is kind of what it looks like when it's all put together. Uh, it's got a shoe up here, like I said, to put lights. You can add through these ports in the back. You can add external mics, wireless mics, so you can pick up sound from a distance, which is pretty cool. And uh, it gives it a little bit of a wider um, uh, format. And of course, you've got this microphone here. Uh, but other than that, it's not that much bulkier uh, than when you don't have it on. So that's what it looks like. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be heading to Greer tomorrow to try out that new trail, Redundant. So I'm going to be testing this on that trail. Also super stoked on having my um, chin mounts, custom uh, camera mount for my Liat helmet. I'm going to be actually using this tomorrow, so there'll be a new perspective as well. It'll be something like this. So kind of cool, super excited. So stick around for the uh, comparison footage and uh, let's see if this thing actually makes a difference. All right. So we're out here at Greer and uh, I'm here with Angel this morning. I found out that on this media mod mic, there's a couple of options. You can set it to pick up sound just from the front of the camera, from the rear of the camera, or set it to the, the normal mics that come with the camera. So. Uh, more options there. Uh, got to Redundant, super grateful for Garrett. Met Garrett out here, um, and he kind of just towed us right to the beginning of it. So Garrett, what's going on here? So we're at the entrance right here. Uh, we got a pretty decent sized step down, mm -hmm. and that's gonna take us right into the, the fence double right there. The fence double. It looks super sketch. Did they put this fence in, or was it already there? I think they built this fence just for the sake of the... Uh, it's like a squirrel catcher. <laughs> yeah, just for the sake of the... Uh, Oh, the trail. Dude. So you got the fence double. It's a good, probably three, four bike lengths. What do you think, Angel? Pretty cool. <laughs> Looks sick, huh? Okay, so we're going to give this a go. I'm going to do it first with the, the mic at the front of the camera on first, and then we'll do the back, and then we'll just do the regular mics and uh, compare it. See how this media mod works. <laughs> A little deep on that. Oh, this is so, this is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> okay, guys, I'm sitting here uh, editing this footage, and I just have to jump in here because things are jumping out at me uh, immediately. So very first thing that I noticed, the wind is almost virtually gone, which is awesome. Um, I realize now that I probably should have done the camera mics first and then like put on the media mod, but just the way I filmed it, this is, this is how it happened. But um, just wait till you see the comparisons. But uh, so because the mic is set to the front of the camera right now, pay attention to my voice it's actually kind of muffled. It kind of sounds like I'm a little bit far away or like I've got something over my mouth or something, but it, it doesn't sound very, very clear. And hopefully when I put the mic on the back uh, of the camera, uh, that my, it'll pick up my voice a lot better. That was rad. Woo! The tight uh, turn back there. Whoa, you gotta commit. Uh, I know this is just the beginning, but I'm very pleased with the lack of wind noise so far. It could just be that it's a very clear day and there is no wind. So it's just basically what I'm generating from going down the trail. But so far, all I can hear is that sweet sound of the rubber on the trail um, and my hubs, which is awesome. But anyway, let's get back to it. Now I've switched the microphone on the camera to the rear of the camera and I'm going to run this again and then we'll see what that, how that sounds compared to the front of the camera. Oh 
Oh, man, I'm in the wrong gear. There we go. So good. So I'm guessing you could probably hear my voice better because the mic is pointed back towards me on this one. Okay, so just as I suspected, um, now that the mic is in the back, you can hear my voice a lot clearer. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick comparison side by side for you so that you can kind of hear the difference. Check this out. Ooh, a little deep on that. Oh, this is so, this is so cool. <laughs> Man, I'm in the wrong gear. There we go. So I'm, guessing you could probably hear my voice better because the mic is pointed back towards me on this one you hear that it sounds kind of muffled in one and in the other one it's a lot clearer so that's awesome and still very little wind noise so so far this media mod is working out very well Ooh, really had to yank on that Dude, Kenny, thank you strong all right, we got Jorge with us now. You. We're gonna go do this one more time. All right, guys. Run number three. I've switched the mics to the standard camera mics. We're gonna do redundant one more time. We got Jorge with us. He's looking at. He's looking at the the uh, double right now over the fence, and. Uh, and then we'll see we'll see how the sound is. Let's do it. Run number three. Oh man, that's a Did you send it? <laughs> I I don't know what to say. The comparison it's night and day. I mean, the wind is so obvious in this footage. It's so loud. And uh, I am just beside myself at how well the media mod works at cutting out the wind noise. tight turn right there after that lip. So good. Now, uh, from these three tests, it's kind of obvious to me that uh, when I'm writing and it's POV footage, I'm probably going to have it set to where the mic is pointing back at me because any trail commentary that I want to make will be nice and crisp and clear. Um, if there's a situation where I guess I'm following somebody and they might be saying something that I want to capture. Maybe better to point the mic out front, but I'm not sure. But anyway, I am just uh, really, really stoked. If you have been having issues with your uh, sound and a ton of wind on, on the trail, consider getting a media mod for your GoPro. Based on these first tests, I think it works excellent. I kind of like the perspective too. So one of the other things was I changed the perspective of the footage because the camera, instead of sitting up here, it's now down here under my chin. Um, so you get a little bit more of the cockpit. Uh, you get a little bit lower. You see the trail uh, kind of up ahead a little bit better, which I kind of like as well. 
So all in all, I think this was awesome. So the GoPro media mod goes for about 80 bucks, but if you have a GoPro subscription, then uh, it goes down to about 56 bucks, which I think is totally worth it. I really like it. I'm going to continue to use it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick review um, of the GoPro media mod. And uh, thanks for tuning in. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one.